Well, good evening. It's 11 o'clock. We have an hour to go to the premiere of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And I'm here with Keith, who is almost three years in yes. organizing Capital Sci-Fi Con right here from Edinburgh. So Keith, how is it going this year? Yeah, it's been going fantastic. Um, we're out with the guys, shopping centers, parades, all over the place. Um, it's been a really busy year for us. Um, and we've raised over £11,000 so far. That is fantastic. Now remember guys, the Capital Sci-Fi Con is a non-profit organization and they raise money for CHAS, which is a fantastic charity helping children in Scotland who have different kind of needs. Now, last year, if I'm not mistaken, we reached almost £77,000? Yeah, £75,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So over the first two years we've raised £114,000. That so. is magnificent. Uh, and I mean, you know, what else? Oh, it's it's, what it's else over and above to... anything that I could ever imagine. Absolutely. It's just been absolutely fantastic. So this year, you know, you've got the Meal with the Stars organised and you're going to be in a new venue, the Corn Exchange. So can you tell us a little bit about how it's going on with the organisation and everything? And yeah, sure. Um, obviously, because of Meadowbank closing, we had to find a new venue. And I went down and I had a look at the Edinburgh Corn Exchange and I'd only ever seen one section of it before when I'd okay. been to an event. And they walked me around and there was another section and another one and another one. And it was so big and I was like, we've got to have this venue. <laughs> okay, so tonight uh, we've got the cosplayer. Cosplayer. The cosplayer. So yes. they work for a good cause, obviously. Yeah. So what can you tell us about the group? Because obviously you've got an amazing uniform yourself on, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Um, I mean, all the guys, well, we started off with 13 people mm -hmm. in the first year. And then we worked our way up to about 47 people. And now in the group, we're just under 200 people. And we obviously we all make our own costumes. A lot of the guys are affiliated to either the Rebel Legion or the 501st. So they're, they're all well informed in the costume side of things. Um, and as you can see by the groups of people that are interacting with them, they work really well. I mean, our, our girls uh, that's in Princess Leia there, uh, she's usually dressed up as a Disney princess oh. and the way she interacts with the families is just absolutely amazing. That's fantastic. So I take it the cosplayer visit uh, the Chaz uh, uh, facilities as well? Yeah, yeah. We, ju we just went to Rachel House okay. two weeks ago All right. Um, and then a group of our guys went to the other hospice at Robin House. So we met all the families, the kids, the workers and we just have a fantastic time when we go there. It's then, amazing. Then are you guys going to go in for the actual movie? Yes, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll meet up with the people that are coming in and mm -hmm. getting ready to go into the movie and then we'll get some of the guys with the lightsabers and they'll put them over the entrance door to the screen so they can walk through the lightsabers Fantastic. and then with the guys that are wearing soft costumes like this we'll actually go in and watch the film in costume yes. um, and our Chewbacca <laughs> and uh, Stormtroopers they'll get into a slightly more comfortable attire yes. to go and watch a film. <laughs> what are your expectations for tonight? No matter what the film is, yes. because it's Star Wars, I love it. Okay. And tonight, I've got my own fan theories in my head, right. what I think is going to happen. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if I'm going to be proved right or be proved wrong. Okay. Um, but <laughs> Chewbacca was away to the London premiere last night. Oh. Yeah, there was a couple of other guys, they were at the London premiere. So they just arrived back in Edinburgh at 8 o'clock this morning. And they can't say uh, anything. And yes. I've, I've said to them, <laughs> don't say a word to me. Um, so yeah, but I was, I was talking to Chewbacca earlier on, telling him a few of my ideas, and he's like, oh, that's interesting. Mm. So, mm, I might be right, <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Well, listen, uh, Keith, this is amazing, and obviously we wish you many more years of amazing success. We're going to be there. Obviously, this, yeah. is, this makes us proud. This people of Edinburgh makes us proud. Adoptive people of Edinburgh, yeah. well, you know. <laughs> um, but... Uh, yeah, congratulations, because yes, it's you. an amazing achievement yeah. and uh, all for a good cause. Yes. So, yeah. Keith Armour, Capital, Sci-Fi Con and Chaz. Thank you. And we're off. May the force be with you.
I'm here with Cara and Kate, and uh, they've just been to see The Force Awaken again. This is because we are 10 minutes to midnight, and they're about to go in and watch The Last Jedi. So first of all, impression uh, from watching The Force Awaken again, how do you feel? Pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see if Luke actually takes the lightsaber off of Rey. Yeah. Or if he actually says anything in the film. <laughs> well, that would be cool, yeah. That would be cool as well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm interested to see how Rey develops in becoming a Jedi. And there's a lot of theories going about that she's going to become dark and Kylo's going to become good. And I'm like, yeah. that would be a plot twist and a half. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, that'd be pretty cool to see. So... Enjoy the movie, Thank you. and I Thank hope you. Uh, it fulfills all the expectations you have, and uh, may the force be with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Ciao.